On August 17, 2022, an article was published in the journal Nature titled Evidence for Intrinsic Charm Quarks in the Proton, and it details that through data analyzed via machine learning, particle physicists appear to have discovered that the common proton, once thought to have two up quarks and a down quark, may actually contain two others, a charm and anti-charm quark. This could have a profound effect on our understanding of particle physics. However, why should that matter to you? Hi, my name is Eric, and I am most definitely not a particle physicist. In fact, I don't even have a college degree. Yet. So why am I talking about this? I'm going to briefly explain why I'm making this channel, but if you're not interested in that and just want to hear about the subject of the video, I'll mark chapters in the description so you can skip to that segment. I've been wanting to become a content creator for years, and I've tried a ton of different things, but none of them seem to stick. Not for any lack of outside attention, but because I just wasn't feeling it. Since I'm currently on a journey of self-healing, learning, and growth, I figured talking about something I'm exceptionally passionate about, science to be specific, might help me along the way. I love learning things, but what with my tism and wild ADHD, even though I love doing it, I still sometimes struggle to keep it up. There are a couple of great ways to learn effectively that I'm going to try here. First, I've often heard one of the best ways to learn about something is to try to teach other people about that something. Secondly, when you want to know the answer to a question on the internet, a very fast way to do that is to be wrong about something, and someone will quickly appear in the comments to swiftly correct you. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll make a video about something, learn stuff in the process, and anything I get wrong will be addressed in the comments section. Win-win. Hopefully this all works out, so let's give this a shot, shall we? In the intro of this video, I posed a question. Why would the discovery of new quarks in protons have any significance to you or your life? That's the question I'm hoping to answer here. First, let's talk a little more about the discovery itself. We previously understood protons to be composed of two up quarks and a down quark held together by the mediator of the strong nuclear force, gluons. In fact, it was thought that 99.8% of the proton's mass was from the gluons, the quarks only making up the remaining 0.2%. Observations by CERN in 1980 suggested the possibility of a charm component to the proton, but the study was found to be inconclusive and the subject of intense debate. That now appears to have changed. In this latest article, the discovery made through running existing data through a machine learning algorithm revealed that initial study in 1980 was on to something. In fact, the article states their findings were a three sigma result, meaning that there was only a 0.3% chance of this being a fluke. That doesn't mean this result is out of the woods yet, though. The science community wants a five sigma result meaning a 1 in 3.5 million chance it's a fluke. If this discovery reaches 5 sigma, that could mean this could be the start of a new particle physics revolution. If that winds up being the case, we're going to need a serious rework of our understanding of particle physics, and that could lead to some interesting things. CERN and their Large Hadron Collider would need some reworking to correctly account for this updated model of the proton, as data from the LHC experiments heavily rely on an accurate understanding of the protons and their behaviors. It might mean we'll have to rerun a lot of previous experiments with the new parameters. If the results of those experiments wind up being substantially different, the standard model itself might be subject to revision as well. Alright, so yeah, yeah, a potential new golden age for particle physics. So what? What does that have to do with me? Potentially, it could mean a great deal. A better understanding of the proton and its properties could unlock technologies that would have otherwise eluded us. Imagine, for a moment, if we had never discovered the electron. Computers as we know them might not exist. With no electron microscopes, how would we be able to observe the behaviors of atoms and molecules? Imagine how much of the microscopic world would remain hidden from us. Think of all of the medical technology we would be missing out on. I think it might be possible we're currently living in a world similar to that. 
If the existence of charm-anti-charm -charm pairs in protons is confirmed, that would mean we've been operating with a fundamental misunderstanding of particle and quantum physics. That may very well open a huge number of doors for us. New physics, better material science, better medical science, better microscopic imaging, new possibilities in our understanding of astronomy and astrophysics, potential improvements to communication and computation. Who knows where this might take us? For all I know, this could wind up leading us to the discovery of the graviton, a hypothetical particle that would act as the force mediator for gravity, and likely unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity, giving us a possible theory of everything. I anyway, before this video drags on too long, I'll go ahead and wrap things up. Long story short, this discovery could mean a leap forward in our scientific understanding. It could mean that our lives might be drastically improved by all the knowledge and technology this could bring. It could mean a brand spanking new future for humanity. And well, if that isn't exciting as hell, I don't know what is. I hope this video gives you a little bit of hope for the future. You know, that's actually another reason why I'm making this channel, to give you hope that things will get better in your lifetime. I know it really doesn't seem like it right now, but well, I'll see about showing you otherwise in future videos. For now, though, thank you for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, especially if I've been horribly wrong about something, and if you're interested in more videos like this, consider subscribing. I don't know about any kind of schedule for my videos, but we'll, we'll see where this goes. Be well, my friends. See you around.